All right, to set it up for DNC communications, I go down to settings, and then on this particular page here, I think you can go to 11, and arrow down, and it'll bring you right to the baud rate there. I've selected uh, 115,200. You could use the right arrow key, and it'll change the value to whatever you want. When you find the value that you actually want to choose to use, make sure you enter it with the enter key on the bottom right, and that implements it. So we got 115,200, none, uh, 8, and 1 for the uh, bits. I also use X modem as my synchronization for data communication. Over to the PC side. On the PC, we can use, uh, I'm using here a USB to serial uh, cable connected up to a null modem to the serial port on the machine. So, start all programs, accessories, go down to communication, hyperterminal. Hyperterminal come up, give it a name, say VF2, select an icon, whatever you feel you're comfortable with. Okay. Now, on my computer here, COM3 represents that USB port, so I'm going to leave it as COM3. I have to set the same parameters, so 115, 200, 8, none, 1, and flow control I'm turning off, applying OK. Now, you can already see the machine sending data here. It already started showing up with these little S's that are coming in on the screen. Sorry, it's out of focus, but uh, it's already showing up. So now, I want to send a file. The way I do that is I right click, send a file. I find the file on my computer. So I got my computer, save my shared documents, and then see directory. There's a file that I've selected and say send. We're going to change the protocol to X modem. All right, and click send. And as soon as I sent it, I go over here and it's already showing up inside of my listing. If it didn't, make sure you double tap the MDI DNC button. And it shows up here and you're ready to run. Just like that. Cancel.